very simple thing to draw on the, uh, the, the, the engine is not a very simple diagram to draw. So therefore, I will actually not draw it on the board here. Uh, but I would like you to know the parts and also to refer to the notes that you have there. Okay. Uh, as, as I explain how it works. Hmm? Now, the engine, the, the, the crankshaft is attached to, to rods, the piston rods, which hold the piston together. And, uh, and then that shaft keeps moving. And as it moves, it moves the piston up and down continuously. And there, are, and there are some other uh, strokes, various strokes of the engine. However, the crankshaft has also, there's also another shaft called the camshaft, which, which is linked with the crankshaft by a timing belt. And, and the two keep rotating at the same time. The camshaft controls the, the valves. The inlet valve and the out and the outlet valve, they are controlled by the camshaft. Now, but they are together connected by what we call the timing belt. Um, <coughs> there are basically four strokes of the engine. Uh, one is called the intake stroke, the compression stroke, the power stroke, and the exhaust stroke. Now, if I keep Talking about this, the, I, you will somehow get lost, definitely. I know this is not a very simple thing to do, to explain, but loaded, uploaded a video in Google Classroom of, of this working. I noticed that on, on Zoom, we cannot actually play a video. So I decided to upload it in Google Classroom. Mm -hmm. uh, showing how the the two the four strokes are uh, operating. So I will in this very lesson in a, in a few minutes time I will I'm, I'm going to refer you to the Google Classroom to check out that video, and then you we continue uh, with the explanation here. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for that, students? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, oh, yes. you want me to first? You want me to first explain before you watch the video, which is, is which is better? First explain. First explain. First, first, explain. explain. Watch. first watch. Wait, how do you explain what we haven't seen? First okay, now you you first see, just log into your Google Classroom. You you're going to see a video with uh, under the topic power. We saw it. Uh, watch that video. It is a short video, a few minutes, uh, about three minutes, then, then we continue. <clears throat> okay. Teacher. Yes. I'm seeing there's a video with the with petrol engine. That's the one you want us to watch. That is the one. So mine is not playing. Yeah, it has refused to play. So that your phone maybe doesn't play videos. Michaels, automobiles, boat. Today, the internal combustion engine is used in motorcycles, automobiles, boats, trucks, aircraft, ships, heavy-duty machinery and power generators. 
A four-stroke engine is an internal combustion engine in which the piston completes four separate strokes, intake, compression, power, and exhaust during two separate revolutions of the engine's crankshaft, and one single thermodynamic cycle. Let's take a look at the basic internal parts of a four-stroke engine. Inside the engine block, there is a crankshaft. Piston rods are attached to the crankshaft. Pistons are attached to the piston rods. As the crankshaft turns, it causes the lifter to make each piston move up and down. At the top of the crankshaft there is a camshaft which is connected to the crankshaft by a timing belt. While the crankshaft is making the pistons move up and down, the camshaft is turning making the valves to open and close. Let's now take a look at how the combustion creates pistons motion. First, intake stroke. The inlet valve is opened, and the fuel-air mixture is drawn in, as the piston travels down. Second, compression stroke. The inlet valve is closed, and the piston travels back up the cylinder, compressing the fuel-air mixture. Just before piston reaches the top of its compression stroke, a spark plug emits a spark to combust the fuel-air mixture. Third, combustion stroke. The piston is now forced down by the pressure wave of the combustion of the fuel-air mixture. The engine's power is derived from this cycle. Fourth, exhaust stroke. The exhaust valve is opened and the piston travels back up, expelling the exhaust gases through the exhaust valve. At the top of the stroke the exhaust valve is closed. This process is repeated. What had been presented, is the cycle of operation of one cylinder, of a four-stroke engine. Generally engines have two or more cylinders acting in concert with each other to produce the engine power. Well, thank you very much. Um... Thank you, thank you. I hope everyone has watched it. And that is now what uh, we, 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 are dis we are explained to repeat what you had there. So we have a crunch turns the, which moves the pistons up and down. Now, in the, in the in intake stroke, the piston moves down and then to the valve has opened, the valve, op valve opens, the is when uh, air mixture is compressed, both valves will close. Okay? And both, and at, at just at the end of that stroke, there is a, um, the next stroke, the combustion stroke, whereby a, a, a plug, um, a spark is sent out by the, the, by the plug, which causes the, the, the air, to, the, the fuel to burn. And cause, and gives it pressure, pushing the piston backwards, backwards, downwards. Okay? And that is where the, the power of the, the, of the engine is, is produced from. Then in the last stroke, um, it is the, the exit valve that opens, uh, allowing the, the, the burnt gases to get out of the engine. So as the timing belt, uh, the camshaft. It is it is helping the pistons, making the movement of the pistons possible at various intervals of time, different intervals. So that is the first stroke engine that operates. Yes. Um. So there are four engines, but each engine has its own strokes, its own four strokes. No, there, there, there is, we, 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 there are four, the, the engine is one, but we are talking about four pistons. Okay. okay. Four pistons in the engine, yes. Mm. I think we, we need to play that video again so that you get it. Uh, whoever played it, Mr. Bato, is it you? Let's play it again and then you, you listen to it the second time. Awesome. 
Today, the internal combustion engine is used in motorcycles, automobiles, boats, trucks, aircraft, ships, heavy-duty machinery and powered generators. A four-stroke internal combustion engine in which the piston completes four separate strokes, intake, compression, power, and exhaust during two separate revolutions of the engine's crankshaft, and one single thermodynamic cycle. Let's take a look at the basic internal parts of a four-stroke engine. Inside the engine block, there is a crankshaft. Piston rods are attached to crankshaft. Pistons are attached to the piston's rods. As the crankshaft turns, it causes the lifter to make each piston move up and down. At the top of the crankshaft there is a camshaft which is connected to the crankshaft by a timing belt. While the crankshaft is making the pistons move up and down, the camshaft is turning making the valves to open and close. Let's now take a look at how the combustion creates pistons motion. First, the inlet valve is opened, and the fuel-air mixture is drawn in, as the piston travels down. Second, compression stroke, the inlet valve is closed, and the piston travels back up the cylinder, compressing the fuel-air mixture. Just before piston reaches the top of its compression stroke, a spark plug emits a spark, to combust the fuel-air mixture. Third, combustion stroke, the piston is now forced down by the pressure wave of the combustion, of the fuel-air mixture. The engine's power is derived, from this cycle. Fourth, exhaust stroke, the exhaust valve is opened, and the piston travels back up, expelling the exhaust gases through the exhaust valve. At the top of the stroke the exhaust valve is closed. This process is repeated. What had been presented is the cycle of operation of one cylinder of a four-stroke engine. Generally engines have two or more cylinders acting in concert with each other to produce the engine power. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Now, um, first of all, uh, from that video, you have seen at first they were just they were showing rotation. That rotation was just an animation to show you all the parts of the engine. It is not rotating. You don't take that to be part of it of the of the, of the operation. The engine is, is not rotating, but the, auto, the purpose was for the camera to move around to show you the, the various parts, okay, of the, of the engine. Yes. Now, yes. So, um, so now let's getting back to the, the first uh, things before the intake, you see, uh -huh. so tell me what, the, what is it? What happens during the intake stage, the first stage? Which valve opens during the intake? The inlet valve. The inlet valve. Uh -huh. it, 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 uh -huh. it opens, then what happens? After the inlet valve opens, what happens? Fuel is drawn in from the cylinder head. Fuel and air mixture uh, enter into the piston. Okay. Then, then what happens to the next stage? Which one is the next stage? Compression. 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 Uh, compression. What happens during compression? Which, which valves open during the, co the compression sto stroke? Both valves. Both valves. None of them. None of them, they all close. Both valves close. What happens after they have both closed? The piston moves up and the fuel air mixture is compressed. Very good. This one moves up. Okay. Compressing. 
compressing the fuel. Okay. Uh huh. Then what next? That stage. That stroke. What is that stroke? Power stroke or the work compression. Pardon? Compression. Uh, compression. Oh, what is the other name for this? Is it also called the power stroke? Yes. Okay, stroke. Power stroke. So what happens here? What happens to the flow? Both valves remain closed. Both valves remain closed, yes. Yeah? Both valves um, remain closed. Then the piston moves down. The piston? The piston moves down. What happens? There is a spark plug that produces electric an electric spark. The fuel air mixture is ignited by what? Ignites the fuel. The electric spark produced by the spark plug. Ignited by, by spark plug. Okay. And this one causes causes the uh, exact pressure onto the piston, and the piston moves where? Downwards. Downwards. Piston moves down. Uh, pressure from these burning gases. Okay, okay then what else? Uh, the last stage will be the exhaust. Exhaust. Uh huh. And during the exhaust, what happened? Which which during the exhaust, which plant? Exhaust Exhaust valve. Exhaust valve open. Inlet valve remains closed. Okay. And then the fuel air mixture, the burnt gases. Okay. okay. So this is the that one of the piston. And this happens. Piston moves. <laughs> Oh, you mute your phone. Does the ones who are whose bones are not muted? So that those are the four strokes of our engine. I hope you have understood. Um, there's a hand. There's a hand, uh, Johanna. Yes, Johanna, you can. I wanted to know why does the petrol have to make, be mixed with air? Okay, why um, <clears throat> the petrol? Yeah. Okay. Give it the money. Petrol. Okay. <clears throat> that air is not necessarily any form of air, but uh, we are trying to get a form of oxygen. You know, oxygen assists the mass. Mm. Oxygen assists the combustion. I hope you know that the gas that uh, basically works in the combustion of gas for any, any generation, I think, is oxygen, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Mm. So we, 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 the fuel, um, basically, okay, we are talking about fuel, but this is not fuel per se. It is very clear, it, we are talking about must be petrol. What we are talking about the petrol engine. 
Am I, am I making are, sense? Are, are, are you listening? Yes. Uh, Mr. Sanjay has brought it out very well, but when we talk about petrol, it's better to include the word uh, petrol vapor or fumes. Okay. Yes, uh, thank, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, another question, Benita, I think it is you whose hand is up. Mm -hmm. Setuba, you have a question. Um, teacher, I'm a bit confused. On, yes, I'm a bit confused on the part of combustion. Um, where does the flame come from? The what? The, the flame, flame. The burning. The burning. It, okay. the, the presence of the spark plug. If the remember, spark plug. You know, do you have your notes, Setuba? Yes, teacher. Well, can you read about the, the spark plug? Read that section, the power stroke or the combustion stroke. You read it for us because we are, we, are, we currently don't have the notes passing. But you read it. Read yes, what you have. The dam. Yes. <laughs> the notes that hmm? I have don't have the diagram. They don't have the diagram. Oh, okay. Briefly. That spark plug produces an electric spark. I hope you know what an electric spark is. Yes. Do you have a matchbox? Any matchbox? Have you ever, ever lit a matchbox? Yes, teacher. When you have that matchbox in the box, it usually sparks. It does, it kind of like creates an explosion and brings a light, isn't it? Yes. So that lighting is the is the it works like it is the, the way the spark plug works. Though for it it is done electrically, it produces that that fire which burns the fuel, the, the vapor, the fuel air mixture. That mixture which Mr. Saga has talked about. So that's the purpose so, of the spark plug. Okay, thank so you, teacher. The one that produces an causes the, 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 what's the burning by an electric spark. Linda. Oh, another one. Teacher, my question is about combustion still. You say that combustion takes place with only oxygen, but we are not seeing less produced where, where oxygen is let in. Oh, Mr. No, the Mr. air. Mr. Kugonza. Yes, please. I've tried to share my screen. Hope it, it's, it's visible. Yes, it is. Mm. Yes, so this. This is that petrol air mixture. That's where it mm. enters from. It's not produced within the system. It's available. So the petrol air mixture is there. Then the spark, the, the, the spark plug, it's a sparking plug. Someone mm. was asking about this. Mm. That's the spell. Okay. All right. I, Linda, is there another question? Uh, me, I don't understand how this works. Like, where does the, 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 the fuel pass? That's why you have a chance to ask. Where, where does the fuel pass from? Like, where does it go? Because in the video, it didn't show any, like, um, Time for the fuel to pass. Okay, you, you look at the notes, the, 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 the diagram on the notes, there is the inlet valve. Do you see an inlet valve on the... Uh, yes. Let, let us go slowly. 
You do not understand where the fuel comes from. Is that what you're asking? Yes. When you go to a fuel petrol station, what is placed into the car? When you um, go to petrol station, uh -huh. there's some type of, I don't know, gas thing that they put into the car. Yeah, let us start from there. When we go to a petrol station, the car, there is a fuel tank, isn't it? Yes. The car has a system of pipes and a pump within its system, because what we are trying to see is simply a very small component of the car engine. That fuel is drawn from the tank of the car and it is pumped there using a fuel pump. Through a yes. system of that are connected to the fuel inlet, that inlet which you see, the inlet valve. I can see it. So that fuel, we, have, we cannot draw the whole system from the fuel pump, I mean from the fuel tank, we draw the fuel pump, we draw then whatever, and we see what is connected. What you must know is that this is a system starting with a fuel tank, there is a fuel pump, then we are talking only what takes within the cylinder, the piston cylinder or that cylinder head. That is all we are talking about as far as the car engine is concerned. So we are not exhausting every part of the car, but we must know that that fuel is drawn from the fuel pump, the fuel tank. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm. Um, so is there any other question? There's Karen in the manual. Uh, Karen's hand probably uh, she has forgotten her hand up, but I think uh, questions are exhausted. Teacher, there's in the chat, uh, Natabona, how does fuel turn into a gas? How does yeah. fuel turn into gas? Mm. Bands. Hmm? It, it, the way they, we, I would, she's asking how it goes into the inlet valve as now as in vapor form. I think that's what she's asking before it even burns. Okay, that fuel does not doesn't necessarily need to go into. On, okay, the, the new engines try to evaporate that fuel into a vapor. They have ever, the whole car system has so many other components. Like I've mm. told you, there's a fuel pump. There are so many other systems. That fuel passes through certain systems and it is warmed even. The car is an electrical engine machine these days. So by the time that fuel, because there are systems that are fuel, uh, fuel conserving, for example, a car may conserve a lot of its energy by consuming as little petrol as possible. And one of the best ways of conserving that energy is to already carry that fuel. By the time it enters into the engine system, it is almost prepared to be burnt so that the car uses as little fuel as possible. So we are not going to the explanation of all those systems of how we do cars. We are only concentrating on one component. So by the time that fuel gets into the cylinder head, it has been prepared by the car to be burnt to produce energy. Am I making this? I don't know. Yes, so I on that so, cylinder head, not the whole car system. So effectively, the power of the car is the majorly Is pushed down, then it goes, it, it activates the other uh, components. So that generates the energy of the vehicle. Then uh, there is another valve is for, she says, teacher, mm -hmm. why does every valve has a sparking plug 
yet it is only needed at the power valve. So I think she's confusing a stroke, the parts of the, 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 the valves, engine. The plug is not attached to the valves. The, the, the plug is, is in the middle of the two valves, the inlet and the outlet, okay? Number, number two, what, where is, what I think is creating confusion, we have food diagrams. Mm. Girls, now listen, we have food diagrams. I hope you have seen the diagrams. But all those diagrams are representing a single cylinder head in its four different stages. They are all representing, they are not representing four cylinder heads, but it is a single one. One, but it undergoes different stages. So the first one is when it allows the fuel air mixture into it, its cylinder. The next one is to compress when it is compressing. The third one is when the fuel explodes and expands and pushes the piston downwards. Now, when the fuels have been burnt, that they are being used, they become useless and therefore they have to get out of the system. So the system, the piston explodes them out through the exhaust valve. So those are four different stages of the same system. I hope that is clear to everyone now. Yes, teacher. Okay, and we are trying to tell you each stage. Okay, uh, way, yes. Mm, yes. What do you observe? Because we talk about the environment being polluted, what comes out of the car system? Can somebody tell, tell us what happens? Smoke comes out. What? Hmm? What? We haven't had proper. I was asking that, that when they, do you know that a car has an exhaust pipe? Yes. 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 Mr. Yes. Mr. Why you say? As you address that, Sanyu Namuganga says so. Mm. The exhaust valve is some is somewhat connected to the exhaust pipe of the car. I think it can be combined in there. Your engagement there. That was a valve. You have studied biology, a valve only allows flow or anything to flow only in one direction. It does not allow when the gas enters, for example, through the inlet, the inlet closes and does not allow it to get out. The inlet so valve. that's why it only opens once to allow in the fuel. Now, you discover that the moment it has allowed in the fuel, it stays closed throughout the system. And the only valve that will allow the, the burnt fuels to get out is the second valve, which we have called the exhaust valve. So that only allows the burnt fuels to get out of the system. So a valve can be explained as any device that allows flow only in one direction. It will close the moment the fuel tries to go out, to go back to where it came from. So it closes. And the other exhaust valve only allows the exhaust gases to get out, not to come back. Is that okay? That's the purpose of a valve. So, Mr. As, as far as the balls are concerned, I don't know whether you have ever seen a ball and you have pumped air into it. You have heard about a valve. When you pump Mr. air into air, the valve prevents that air from getting out. It only allows air inside, but not outside. Yes, Evo. So in a car, it's the cause we are trying to address Sanyunamu Ganga. So in other words, the, the exhaust valve is what leads to the exhaust pipe of the car. Okay, it is connected. Yes, to the, yes because it's now that the fuel has been burnt and after that mm -hmm. they can 
get out of the the the, the, the whole that engine. That yes. Yeah, they, they are con then, it's connected. Yes. Then then there's Ayoki Johanna. She says uh, the video. She says that so there are four strokes in one engine. That's what uh, you explained, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but what of the four we saw in that video weren't they independent? You, you know how yes, the yes. whole system engine had four cylinders working yes. together. Yes. So that's what she's asking. That the. There are four strokes. We have, we've talked about the four strokes, but um, the cylinders are also four. We, we, the, that engine, that particular engine, actually was showing um, four, four what? Four cylinders, four pistons. Yes. But they are working at. They are not all working at the same time. Uh, yes, okay. yes. Uh, they, are, they are in different phases. Okay. If one is in inlet. Okay. Mm. Listen carefully, girl. The first. Bow cylinder will have an inlet that it will be in that phase of inlet, allowing in the air fuel mixture to enter it. The mm. second one will be compressing it. The second one, the second it will be in that phase of compression. The third one will be in the power stroke. The fourth one will be in exhaust. And each of those cylinders go through those different phases in turn. And that ensures or maintain the smooth running of an engine. The four cannot be describing, the four cannot be at the same phase for the smooth running of the engine. So for the smooth running of the engine, since there are four strokes, you get four cylinders that are describing different phases. So there's always a cylinder providing power to the engine. And therefore the engine does not uh, what we call it. Okay, stop at any particular instance. Okay. I don't uh, know. Uh, we can uh, again and can we, that. Hmm? Should we play the video okay. again? Yes, I think we need to do that. There's also Muton says, what is the purpose of this kind of engine? How does it make a car move? Yes. What is the purpose of this kind of engine? How does now it make the, a move? Uh, the purpose basically of the engine is that engine is, 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 is like the heart of the vehicle, which is what makes yes. the, 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 we, we are showing how power is generated in the car, in engine, the car engine to make that okay? motion. So that uh, the car can move. Otherwise, without that, then there is no, there is no way the car will move. Where does the power go? The, the power from the engine is what now drives, even makes the tires to, to roll, to turn, and all that. Okay, all the other components of the vehicle will will now begin to to function properly, and the car will start moving forward. Then, Mr. Kugonza, we can also add the charging in the car that battery to, to be kept charging. Mm. So there's that time belt which was shown in the video. When it is rotating, the moment it, it stops because the engine maybe has stopped it as a problem, that then that car will eventually stop because even the battery won't be charging. So all that power goes into doing different uh, functions in the car. Mr. Sally and the girls, please listen to me very carefully. Mr. And especially the girls. The girls, we are concentrating on a very small component of the car. And we are talking about how that component develops power in the car engine. The major purpose of that car engine is to get the car into motion. Now, that car is a very small and complicated or complex machine with all these systems interconnected. We are concentrating only on one component and that is the working of the engine, that is all. The crankshaft is connected to the wheels, the wheels will rotate and so on. So this is a power source that will remember this is energy. Energy because it, when is it coming from the fuel, the fuel is burnt and then the resultant is mechanical energy. The system that converts the chemical energy into mechanical energy is the engine. That's all that we are discussing here. 
We are not talking about how the wheels will rotate, etc., etc. Let us keep it simple, please. Let us concentrate yeah. on the working of the engine. We cannot explain everything that happens in a car. Yes, actually, that is very important to note, girls, because uh, the reason why you can see that our explanation is based on the engine working and not on the other parts is we, we, we don't want, we are not going into the mechanical engineering generally uh, of the vehicle. We are looking at what our syllabus requires us to teach you, just how that engine operates and not how the car moves and all, all, all plus the other components within the car. So that is the, um, so your questions should always, should remain around within, that, around that point. Cylinders. That is mm -hmm. all. Mm. So don't worry about that. Don't worry about the whole system will come on like this. I don't know whether Mr. Sally, we shall have enough time to play the video. Yes, Maybe the just, uh, just two minutes and some seconds. Mr. Bato can help us play it again. Please, could you help us to play it again if you are there? I think, Mr. Sally, you, you unshare us. Okay, let, let me do that. The internal combustion engine is used in motorcycles, automobiles, boats, trucks, aircraft, ships, heavy duty machinery, and powered generators. A four stroke engine is an internal combustion engine in which the piston completes four separate strokes intake, compression, power, and exhaust during two separate revolutions of the engine's crankshaft and one single thermodynamic cycle. Let's take a look at the basic internal parts of a four stroke engine. Inside the engine lung, there is a crankshaft. Piston rods are attached to the crankshaft. Pistons are attached to the piston's rods. As the crankshaft turns, it causes the lifter to make each piston move up and down. At the top of the crankshaft there is a camshaft which is connected to the crankshaft by a timing belt. While the crankshaft is making the pistons move up and down, the camshaft is turning making the valves to open and close. Let's now take a look at how the combustion creates pistons motion. First, intake stroke. The inlet valve is opened, and the fuel air mixture is drawn in as the piston travels down. Second, compression stroke. The inlet valve is closed, and the piston travels back up the cylinder, compressing the fuel air mixture. Just before piston reaches the top of its compression stroke, a spark plug emits a spark to combust the fuel air mixture. Third, Combustion stroke. The piston is now forced down by the pressure wave of the combustion of the fuel air mixture. The engine's power is derived from this cycle. Fourth, exhaust stroke. The exhaust valve is opened and the piston travels back up, expelling the exhaust gases through the exhaust valve. At the top of the stroke, the exhaust valve is closed. This process is repeated. What had been presented is the cycle of operation of one cylinder of a four-stroke engine. Generally engines have two or more cylinders acting in concert with each other to produce the engine power. Yeah, so I definitely um there's, there's one hand which is still there we can listen to that one or we'll end with that one paula paula you put down your hand um, yes I... so the whole essence of this is to have the crankshaft move it's the mechanical energy that they are looking for not the chemical because you said it's the crankshaft that makes the that makes the car move and all that so so is it, uh, is it? if you observe every piston was connected to the crankshaft and if you look at the crankshaft it had a certain shape that enables two pistons to move up and two pistons to move down 
so that all the, the pairs of the pistons are described in different stages in the, of the engine strokes. So the, if you look at that, it had a certain bending. I don't know whether we can draw that bending here, but I don't know whether you can see my, the board where I've erased, but the crankshaft leg was And therefore, it had pushed that. There was a piston that had been pushed up. There is a piston that had come down. And there is another one which had gone up. There was another one which had gone down. So this shape here, this rotor, rotor is what we call the crank shaft. So as it rotates, two pistons will go up, two pistons will come down. That one, and then this crank shaft, its rotation, that rotation, it is actually the one that is connected to the axles of the cars. These are the wheels of the cars at the extra end. You are forcing us to go through these things. But that is what happens. That rotation there also now results into the rotation of the wheels. But these are now all because Is that OK? So there is, it is a whole thing. This is a wheel, that is a wheel. It is all interconnected to the crankshaft and then the axles, and then that rotation is with. Uh, translated into the wheels, and therefore the wheels also start to rotate. Okay, Titiana Bogere, you are the last one. The car is new when it's on, you won't smell the smoke. But when the car is old, like these old taxis, you, you find, when like the smoke that comes out, how comes, is it because the thing that now the engine is spoiled? That's why the smoke is now black or, or it's just. You have carried us the next stage of our last, the last stage of our, or whatever. Now, whenever you see a lot of smoke from a car, you are looking at what we call uh, what happens when what are some of the what is called the efficiency of an engine? That engine is that okay? That's what you are talking about. The efficiency of an engine. The efficiency of an engine usually results from these two. Number one, there is what we call. I, I hope you can read that. Complete combustion. What is this? Incomplete combustion of fuel of fuel air mixture. Whenever that occurs, so that implies that the fuel air mixture doesn't burn fully. If it doesn't burn fully, the result is that smoke. Oh. These fuel tanks, remember that they are always in motion. So there is wear and tear because of friction. Is that okay? Yes. And that wear and tear, as the engine continues to work and you don't service it properly, then this is what the likely result. The pistons will tear wear out and they start producing what we refer to as incomplete combustible fuel mixtures. This is usually a result of wear and tear in the machine or the engines. So they have to be well oiled. Is that okay? So as the car grows older and older, the chances of meat producing smoke now increase. Okay, thank you. Okay, number two, the other one. Is that okay? It is, we have talked about friction, wear and tear. Wear and tear of the pistons. Of the pistons as a result of friction. So those are some of the things that will happen in a car engine and they reduce lead to that smoke. There's a fourth one, a third one, which I've kind of like, I don't know if it was captured in our notes, 
Is a third word. I don't know whether hmm? you know. I have not. I don't know. Whether it's oh, is a third one. But these are the basic the ones. The common combustion. Where are you there with the pistons? Is that okay? Yes. Yes. Cause engines to start producing that smoke. Okay, Mr. Sally, over to you. Yes, uh, I think I don't know how we can phrase it. Also, lack of service. When the car is on service, it can lead to that. Time oh, maybe. You must always continually service a car. Mm. Servicing mm. is sure that the moving parts are well oiled and so on. Mm. Yeah. Oh, all right. Uh, class, it is the time up. We are going to end here. Yeah, so next time we'll look, talk about energy. Have an, a, a nice lunch.